Hey guys, I'm a little late to the party here, but today is going to be a video on the cable mod adapters. Um, I have three here, one of each kind open, and I have one unopened. So I'm just going to quickly show you the unboxing process, uh, just to give you an idea. Uh, the item is extremely well packaged, okay, so it comes in sealed like this, and then you have, um, in the box, you have the adapter itself, and the adapter is also saran wrapped, but if I can get it out. You get the basic gist, okay? So, I have them on the boxes so I don't get them confused. Uh, there's four different types, aside from the colors, of which there are a great, va you know, great variation of colors. But um, I'm just gonna go over each type real quick. I'm put it in the box, or on top of the box, at least I remember. Uh, so let's start with these two, before we go on to the 180s. You have, uh, the white one is a 90 degree variant B, and the black one is 90 degree variant A. Now, I'm not sure how clear the sight is at this point, but when I ordered these, I didn't know what the hell the difference was. I didn't look into it either. Um, but essentially, it's just the orientation of the plug itself, okay? So I'm gonna show you these on the graphics card themselves, but let's first take this apart really quickly. I just wanna show you guys. Um, it's not reversible, so whatever orientation you buy is the orientation you're gonna be stuck with. Um, but once I take this apart, we can get an idea of what the adapter is actually like. All right, so small plate. You can see this piece is obviously swappable if you have multiple colors. Uh, there's a thermal pad, right, covering some circuitry. But you can see there's the adapter itself, right? So you have it running through the PCB to the other side, and that pretty much comprises of the adapter. All right. Um, most of the heft is in the cover itself. Um, if I can remember which way I had it. Oh wait, I'm gonna cover the screw holes. So, I might force fast forward through this in post, but just gonna put this back together. So I guess you could also take it off if you wanted to paint it another color or vinyl wrap it or whatever it may be. They have a lot of colors. So if you don't find one that matches yours, it's always, you know, something you could do about it. Um, okay, so let's just demonstrate this real quick. So let's start with the A. I mean, sorry, 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 let's start with the B. And I'll take a Supreme, all right? And I'll take an Asus card. Uh, the reason why I picked these two is because I believe Asus is the only AIB where the, uh, the connector is upside down compared to the others. I think all the founders and everything else is like this. So if I were to take Let's say I want it to face down like this to run the cable through. Uh, this is where you might also run into a compatibility issue. I've seen folks do this already, um, but you know, on other cards. But on cards like the Supreme, if I were to insert this, it will not sit flush. The heat sink actually gets in the way. I don't know if you can see that on camera. All right, this is not fully seated. This obviously will cause issues. So keep that in mind. Um, it, for some cards, you're not gonna be able to do it like this, all right? So you could therefore then, you know, use the other adapter, which therefore faces on the way up. Okay, and that's fine, all right? So, um, of course, it also has this little latch that you have to pull when you release. Um, but you can see that, obviously, you're not gonna be able to do exactly what you want with every card, all right? Um, this heat sink is more flush, therefore, you know, if I wanted to pull it down, I technically could, right? And that's it's fine. See, no issues there. But on cards like the Supreme, you know, I don't have every 4090, I can't test them all, but you know, the Trio has the same heat sink kind of design over here. Therefore, that's not gonna work. So that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, the orientation is the A or B, okay? And then let's take a look at a 90 degree. This is a 90 degree, how's that? Well, sorry, 180 degree variant A. All right, so if you have 180 degree variant A, uh, which I believe will work well for the Strix cards, obviously, you know, you're not gonna do this, right? I mean, that's not even gonna work. So you're not gonna consider variant, you're gonna have to buy the right variant. So I would say for the Strix cards, for the 180, you want the A, and for the every other card, you want the B, all right? So what this allows you to do is, come in here like this, 
and then just for demonstration purposes, you'll put in your cable like that, okay? So obviously that's not fully seated, but you know, you get the idea. Um, they're very well built. Uh, I, th I, think, I think for most folks, the 190, 180 degree is actually gonna be more useful than the 90 degree. Simply being, you know, if you have it vertically mounted, you can hide the cable, right? Like this. If you have it horizontal, you know, upright, you can still hide the cable. Um, obviously, if you have a vertical mounted GPU, you're not going to run a 90 degree. I mean, you're not going to run cables in front unless that's your style. Um, but, you know, most likely you're going to want to run something across the back. So obviously, um, you know, like I said, if you have a Supreme, the running down through the front is not going to work with these adapters. Okay, so keep that in mind. Therefore, once again, the 180 degree is probably a better bet. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, uh, just a quick look at the adapters. I just want to bring up that um, I noticed, regardless of whatever you buy, you'll notice that when you plug it in, okay, hold on. When you plug it in here, this thing will just clip in here. Okay. Um, the shroud, I don't believe, is on the right side up right so it doesn't matter if you buy the 90 degree you buy the 80 degree all right so see the shroud is not on the right side up i mean that's not a huge deal but you know i mean it'd be nice to see the shroud right so but you know that's that's i guess that's for the ease of being able to clip it in because it's super close to the pcb but that's just a small shortcoming but I mean, the shroud is not necessary anyway. But yeah, so that pretty much sums it up. Um, all of these have a QR code telling you to make sure they're fully inserted, etc., etc. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. Like I said, the only difference is the orientation. Um, think and plan carefully. I think most people will actually find the 180 to be more useful. But um, with that said, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.